For this video, we're going to talk about number 10 running back and defensive back, Daniel Picard of Pleasantville High School, located right here on the screen. And this is a young football player, just completed his sophomore campaign. He's 6'1", 185 pounds, and was named first team All-State in New York for Class B this past season. And he really had a dominant year, and he was impactful in each phase of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. And on this video, I'm going to focus on the offensive side of the ball, and I actually... I'll make this statement right now. I think he's one of the best backs in Section 1. Uh, he's another real versatile player and shows that he's a very good athlete. He lined up all over the field offensively. He lined up at the quarterback spot in the Wildcat. He lined up at running back, wide receiver, slot wide receiver. And he made plays both in the running game and in the passing game. And I mentioned the solid size he has at 6'1", but what I think separates him from a lot of other people is I think he has great feet and lateral quickness. He's got this stop and start to him. He has this change in direction that he does at a high level and makes defenders look kind of foolish. He also has that burst and straight line speed that he can hit those home run chunk plays. Now, I do think he's at his best when he's attacking off tackle and to the outside out on the edge. But there were times that I saw he had to get those hard-earned runs between the tackles, and I would like to see that more consistently, and I think he can reach that next level by doing that. But he was able to do that, getting some of those tough, hard-earned runs. Now, things that he can work on, I do think, you know, he was a young football player. There's different facets in his game that he can refine. Uh, first off, talking about his pad level. Right? Sometimes he runs a little bit high. He opens himself up to getting some big hits. And strength is a big thing. So I'm looking to see, is he going to get into the weight room and continue to work to reach that next level? Um, I also think he could be a better blocker. So there's definitely things to work on. But let's go over a couple plays I really liked. I mentioned, he's located, he goes in different spots. They label him at running back, but he's really an athlete that moves around. And he's going to be in the slot right here. And just going to see some of the great lateral quickness that he has. They're going to motion him, give him a jet sweep to the outside. You can see these guys blocking. Watch the lateral quickness. Watch the sudden stop and start. And he makes a lot of defenders look foolish. Right? And you can see this defense fighting to get to the outside because they know of this guy's speed. But he really puts a lot of pressure on your defense on the backside to make sure that they are pursuing at good angles and taking away cutback lanes. And you're going to see a few examples. So the defense does a pretty good job of going over the top to try to stop him from getting outside. But on the backside, right, you don't see that pursuit. And he's going to make you pay. So watch him. He cuts inside. Again, there's two guys that he just made miss. And look at these guys swarming. So look at that nasty spin. That's three guys missed. Okay, now he got four defenders in his face. There's no way he gets out of this one, right? But this guy's a magician. Again, look at that. Juke right there. Look at that stop. That's six guys who had a chance at him. And now you're going to see that speed. Watch the speed right here. Boom. The final guy set. There's that speed and burst. Hits the home run. But again, going back to this play. You see this often on his tape. He makes some tremendous plays that don't seem to be going far. Now, sometimes I do think the defense will give him some opportunities, and sometimes he always wants to make that big play, which will put him in a bind. But you don't want to take away that aggressiveness from this type of play. Okay, looking to make two guys miss. Look at the stop and start spin move right there. Four defenders, again, another juke. I mean, this guy looks to be playing at a different speed than everybody else in his class. I mean, that's a nasty play. And I wish it was just one play, but it's not. Here he's lined up on the outside. Again, he was in the slot. This time he's out wide as a wide receiver. And again, this is kind of just an extension pretty much of the run. Okay, he's out by himself to the left, one-on-one -on -one out there, seven yards of space. All right, so what they're going to do is they're going to hike it and throw it to him. All right, it's not complicated. Hike it, throw it to him. they got to get the first down. He does that with that stiff arm. But again, what did I say? Pursuit is huge against this guy because he's not going to give up. He wants to create a big play every time. So, again, you can see some of these defenders pulling up, right, because they think this guy's going to push him out of bounds. This guy may be able to help. But you see some guys pulling up, and you can't do it against this guy because watch him. Again, he is really tough to get to the ground. Again, there's another move. Look at the spin move again. Real quick spin move. And, again, pursuit. you got to make sure you're pursuing this kind of guy because he can change direction quickly. Another juke again. That's five guys who had a chance at him. And now here's the speed to close it out. Again, nasty stuff right there. And this just resulted in a simple little throw to the outside, a little bubble. Again, not really a screen. They're just trying to get those two yards. But this type of footwork, this type of magic, this kid can make.
Okay, look at the spin move right there. Then the cutback. And now the speed. And again, this is a young football player, right? A lot of room for improvement. Here's another play. Again, lined up on the outside. And, and again, these are all plays out of the slot and wide receiver role. And we didn't even get into the running back spot. But this is the kind of weapon he can be. You can move him around, right? He can do a lot of different things for you. Here he is on the outside contributing in the passing game. Again, one-on-one, -on -one, safety cheating over to the side because they know the weapon that he can be. But they're going to run a, a slant and go. Okay, and the corner has helped to the inside, but he does a hard slant right here to try to push this corner inside, give him inside leverage so that he can get to the outside. Again, a corner cannot give up the outside here, but with that hard slant, it gets him off balance. So he hasn't beat, but the ball's underthrown. Right? And you can see the safety is lining up to try to make this an INT. But again, watch this young man. Again, doing multiple things for you. Look at him go up here. Again, tax the football. This is a 50-50 ball, contested catch. And look at the strength he shows to rip that ball out of the air. Again, sometimes he makes a play out of nothing. Now, he's a magician, this guy. Again, here he is, the safety. Ball's underthrown. Seems to be a dead play. Look at him go up. I mean, you see him contribute in multiple aspects on offense. Let's talk about special teams. Right? Again, you get this kid a lane. You're not pursuing 100%. He is really going to make you pay. This is a punt return. Here he is right there. And again, this is bad news. You got a seal right here. A lot of space for this young man. He's got that speed. You do not want to give him this kind of space. The magician will take it to the house. See you later. Again, a real dominant year from this young man. I'm excited to see, can he make that next step? Can he take that next step? And that's getting into the gym, getting out onto the field, refining all his skills, because this is an impressive young man. I'm excited to see him this coming fall.